Don't worry about what your neighbor thinks. Maybe don't even worry about what your parents think, maybe, or don't worry about what your family or your friends or anyone else. The big idea this morning is don't let disconnected people disconnect you from Jesus. Don't let disconnected people disconnect you from Jesus. Know who you are. Know whose you are, that you're connected to him because he's the one who gives you life. You want to live? I mean, like, really live? Learn to value his opinion. Like, value it more than anyone else's opinion. Now, here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying go rogue. I'm not saying when all of your deeply spiritual Christian friends are telling you about an issue in your life to ignore them. It's not what I'm saying this morning. Um, This has nothing to do with not listening to godly men and women in your life. The challenge this morning is for us, actually has to do with the Christian culture we live in. Like when we see how other people are living, do we measure ourselves against them? Because here's the deal. The opinions of anyone not named Jesus in your life, they fade pretty quickly. They, They go away pretty fast. And so if you're here this morning, you're wondering, how do I disconnect? and from some of these voices that may not have my best in mind. Just with this last minute, I just want to share three really quick things. Here's the first thing. I would just encourage you to prioritize God. It's like the simplest thing they would say that in the kindergarten Sunday school room. But I mean it. Prioritizing God can mean like a a lot of different things in your life. You probably know what it looks like in your life. What does it look like for you to prioritize God on a daily basis? Uh, The second one, If all we're hearing is the voices of all these people who are saying lots of things, we're measuring up to all these voices, I would say prioritize silence. Silence is like, it's coming back. I mean, some people are getting into it again, uh, myself, but it's not like the most popular thing. But but honestly, prioritize silence. You guys, for me, this is so important. I go paddleboarding all the time. Uh, I was paddleboarding on Friday on Lake Michigan, my favorite spot to go. I was trying to catch waves. It was kind of lame. But I was walking down the beach, and out past anybody, and it's, I'm not like looking for God. It just hits me all of a sudden. I was like, oh yeah. I was in some silence, and, and it was just overwhelming. It's like, yes. Okay, that's right, God. You are real. I didn't just make you up. Like, you, this couldn't have just happened randomly. So for me, Prioritize, prioritizing silence and getting into those spaces is so important. And then the third uh, piece of advice that I would give to you is prioritize people who prioritize God in silence. 